March 1908, fire bells rang out and the alarm sounded as the Summerhill and Lansford Fire Companies responded to a fire in the heart of Summerhill. As horrified townspeople watched, the Summerhill Armory burned in an intense fire that left only the exterior large stones standing in its aftermath. The armory went through several uses over the years. It was built in the early days of Summit Hill by the Town Hall Association, which was a stock company formed by Merritt Abbott and Captain Jack Winterstein. Winterstein was the organizer of the famous Carbon Guards in 1854. The Carbon Guards were comprised mostly of miners and their sons. They formed shortly after the Mexican War and were one of seven drill teams that drilled regularly before joining the Union Army during the first days of the Civil War. These original troops returned home after their first three months, only to be replaced by Captain John McLaughlin, who formed the second unit to return to the Union Army. While they existed, though, the armory was their base of operations. But more than that, the armory was also the main social venue for the townspeople. Its hall served many purposes through its history, functioning as a drill hall, a roller skating rink, an auditorium, a boxing arena, and a public meeting place. The main room was about 35 by 80 feet. It continued to also serve as a home for the Pennsylvania National Guard 9th Regiment into the early 1900s. In 1890, the recently established borough of Summer Hill took over ownership of it to use the armory as the town hall. They added an annex to the side of the building for the Diligence Fire Company. The back of the building was expanded with a larger stage area. But in 1908, a March fire consumed the centerpiece of Summer Hill, incinerating everything inside. The fire had apparently burned inside for quite some time before it was discovered and had completely destroyed the inside of this beautiful building. While the armory no longer is here, the massive stones that comprised it still exist and were used to build the foundation of the Citizens National Bank building in Lansford. A new borough hall was erected in the early 1900s on the site of the armory, and that stood for almost 100 years until it was replaced due to its age with a new fire company and community center. This new structure almost brings the property back full circle to its original use, minus the boxing matches. The year was 1791 when Philip Ginther banned his gun, left one day to hunt family meal but having kicked up no game he headed home or up the plane and growing dark cake something with his heel now traditions of that country soil occurred to him it might be cold and shipped it off to philadelphia game Ginter sat and waited till he heard coal in Summit Hill from Charles Sist, a printer in his day. There's coal in Summit Hill, coal in Summit Hill. Come to Carbon County, there's work for all and plenty. There's coal in Summit Hill, they say, coal in Summit Hill. Carbon County, there's coal in summer and air.